Hey guys, welcome back to the vaults in Bury. So today we're going to have a gun review. I've recently purchased a new riff or realistic imitation firearm, Airsoft AEG. So for your SMG lovers, I present you the GNG ARP9. This is a great little compact SMG gun. I originally got this a couple of days ago now. So what does come, I'll go over the features and I'll say what's in the box, what it comes with, and then we'll do a bit of testing and I'll show you all the features. So, standard, it comes with a collapsible stock, it comes with one high cap magazine, and then on the front it does come off, I've actually brought it here, this nice little orange flush hider. So I've got the orange version that comes with orange furniture, so orange charging handle, mock injection port, orange trigger, orange trigger guard, then on the other side you've got orange mock bolt release and a selector. So, and it's got a nice orange inner barrel and outer, well the outer barrel is orange, the inner barrel is standard. And then it does come with a small M-lock rail. So if you do get one of these and you want to put rails on it, you have to get M-lock rails or attachments that kick onto M-lock. So on this, and it comes with flip up front, flip up front and rear sights that on there so on this one I've got uh, there's a nice micro red dot here and a trusty torch with a pressure pad on the top it does come with a normal six millimeter rail on the top so also this does come with a MOSFET electric gearbox so I'll show you how to do that so this is a great and I've got it on a one point sling here so I'll come forward so you can flip so all the orange furniture I've got a mock suppressor on there my red dot. So you might notice that the LP9 takes nine millimeter mags. So these are the mags here. So this is a classic army mag, which does fit into these. This comes with a standard high capacity magazine, but do fit classic army ones in. So you can get the blue ones, the red ones. So also on this one, you can buy extension tubes for bigger batteries, but a player here that's a long time player at the site 3D print 3D printed me one so you can get these 3D printed if you have a 3D printer as well you can get these like lovely 3D printed so in here because it's like it's a AEG it needs a battery so the battery of course goes into stock so with that extra room there you can get a bigger battery in there because on the actual back wire you've got the fuse and then you've got the MOSFET so what that MOSFET allows you to do is on the trigger so you've got safe Single, all the way back is full auto, but you can set it to safe, single, and free round burst. So free round burst you can't use at the vault, but having a free round burst on a gun for another for other sites around the country is really handy. But I will show you how to activate that. So first things first, before we do any shooting, I am in sight here. Eye protection always goes on, and then I can put the mic in. And you can have a look at that. Let's look at that. An M4 platform that takes nine millimeter mag. So this is a mid cap, so this holds 160. So it does come with a high capacity magazine that holds about 300 BBs because it is a thin one. So, and then it has a nice crisp sound for this. I've got my a new Pro 11.1, 1000 milliamp battery in here. So, yes. so this one's, so it's on single. So this is what it sounds like on single. That's lovely, and then full full auto. I'll, I'm not. I'll hold the trigger down, but don't want to really do a full auto. I might see what happens. So this is this is what full auto sounds like. This the sound of this is awesome. And then, like I said, for the free round burst, what you do is on your trigger, you go you go single shot. Make sure you're not pointed anywhere. Pull the trigger and count to twelve. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Release the trigger. So again, on single. And now, if you switch to full, full auto, it should do three round burst. So it's three bullets with one one trigger pull. There you go. Again, which is lovely. 
and to deactivate it, you put it back onto safe, back onto single, pull the trigger, count to 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, let go, so back onto full auto, lovely. So. These come in many colours, so I've got the orange one here, as you can tell, all the lovely orange features. You can get a one that is jade green, which is beautiful, I have seen that as well, it's jade green, it's beautiful. And then out there you do get the battleship grey ones, you can get pure black ones, you can get ones with um, silver highlights, there's one of gold as well. The silver and gold ones are the most popular, but they tend to, tend to um, go out of stock everywhere. Also. The mag release, it's not like a standard M4 mag, so when the mag's in, it's like a G36 mag release, so it's underneath there. So, push it forward, mag comes out. Make sure your weapon's clear, on safe, and you're good to go. So this does come with a high capacity magazine, but I prefer mid caps, but like I said, the classic army mid caps do work in this. Um, also, you do have all the markings, G and G. You have the official M lock markings on the M locks on the actual M lock rail because it's it's, it's all, all official on there. M lock. So you got yeah, you got basically one on each side. No point having it on the top because you've got the the uh, Picatinny rail on there and at the bottom. Normally I would have a foregrip, but I've taken that off because I'm starting to like angle foregrip. So I'm going to order an angle foregrip so I can get more controllable. So this is a great little gun for CQB sites, but these do work outdoors, so you could, you can get the massive drum mags for these. But if you don't like, don't like the um, my mill one, you, they do do an ARP 556. So it's the same base weapon, but instead of nine mil, it uses standard M4 mags. I don't know if you can get the 556 in the orange colors and the green colors, I only know about the ARP 9. So there you go guys. This is the GNG ARP9 SMG. On so basically, it's a nine mil conversion onto an M4 style adapters and everything. Oh, oh you've also got a nice orange base plate for where your motor goes in your foregrip. And then, if I quickly let's take the mag out, clear the gun. So if I take the stock off, so the stock. Track so it's a multi position stock. You take the little back cup off, so this part here that's the 3D printed one. So you'll see why people get the extension tube on this because on the wire itself, you've got your fuse, you've got your Tamiya connector there, but you can switch out to Dean's if you keep putting it gently. I'll disconnect the battery just so it's a bit easier. If you start to pull, there you go, there is your MOSFET on the back wire so that's why people ask for extra room because there's the battery I'm using there standard LiPo battery goes in and there you go guys and then what you do is simply enough connect it make sure everything's nice and neat inside here it does take a bit of practice you've got your little butt cap that goes on top as well and then which is here so you put your butt cap on there which I've just dropped oh well it happens that's life so that's the butt cap so with that all the wires in butt cap goes on take your stock goes through some little guide holes goes all the way in and there you go put your, put your mag in and you're ready to pew pew so this is a great little gun for a CQB site like the vault you can, you can get around the corner seat so also which is a nice on the actual mag well there it's got a little grooves because some pe people how, how I do it I go like that and I put my a grip around my stock then I got access to my pressure plate for the top or the bottom but well, some people people like to hold it like that. 
So there you've got a bit of group grip if you're wearing gloves. Nice grip and then you can easily mag out, get a new one, mag in and then do the fake mag release. So internals, it's a version 2 gearbox. It has a rotary hop unit which is there to access that pull your charging handle like any other AEG, drops it. This one you have to hold the charging handle back, if you don't, the um, bolt, mock bolt comes up, so you have to hold it there and then adjust it. FPS wise I use .2s in this, so I get about 320 to 330 on .2s through our chrono, but you can use two fives in this and it'll drop it back, so a bit more straight and precise. So guys, that has been the G&G ARP9. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to please subscribe to our channel, all the links for the actual our Facebook community group and the website. So if you do, if you do want to come down to the site, guys, get yourselves booked on. We're in Manchester, in Bury. All the details are in the description to all our Facebook groups and everything. So thank you very much, guys. And always remember, please, guys, when you're playing airsoft, always remember eye protection. Guns, make sure when you're not using them, they're demagged, cleared, and when you're, when you're carrying guns around in a car or something like that, always make sure they're put away in a gun bag or in its original box so people can clearly see it's an airsoft gun and you are safe. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you later.